Morning. Um, this weekend we were meant to record right now, but I'm very fucking sick, so. It's the weather, you fuck. Uh, yeah, it was meant to get ready up. Yeah, um, so I'm at home sick this weekend, and I thought, well, I've got a whole weekend free, so let's show you what I've been playing with. And recently, I've been playing Sir Butthole. Um, <laughs> um, he's, he's pretty good, but everyone fucking plays him wrong. I don't understand. Like, everyone's like, oh, Roger, it's a majestic weapon. It's terrifying. Uh, axe build is the way to go. Um, I personally really, really been enjoying this deck for the past, what, day and a half, <laughs> but uh, it, I've got a few really good wins with this, um, but yeah, so yeah, of course, I'll start off the equipment, uh, mind, uh, body, body, and the mind, um, you know, the very good weapons, but we do play the one centenary. Um, a lot of people think I'm an idiot playing one centenary. But if you lead with this as an attack, that means they have to defend with it. So it means late game. This is the strong, stronger than hatchets. Um, I know, it, like it, it devalues the the, the, the spill blood turn. Um, but you can use spill blood during the mid turns to get a little bit more value off. That's the way I see it. Um, so if you're versing your graphics of decks, you want to use your Cincinnati. If you're versing slower decks, you're using your mind. And this build is the four legendary equipment build. So we play Vestige as our chest. We play Valiant Dynamo. Valiant Dynamo. Valiant Dynamo. Literally the reason why this deck is so good. Uh, we play Arknight Skullcap. And Brave Forge Braces. Definitely not gall Gallantry Gold. Uh. <coughs> And then, of course, uh, we have to run three Arcane Barrier because of Wizard. Uh, I don't like the Helm of Illumination. So you got your 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 uh, Nolrun uh, robe, got Nolrun gloves, and Nolrun boots. Uh, and then Refraction Bolters. Uh, Refraction Bolters is mainly in here for OTK Viscerai because you won't be. Uh, uh, what, what was the reason? You just play it in against all. Oh yeah, OTK this right because you're not using gallantry gold to defend all the time. So uh, refraction bolters, free go again. All right, onto the deck. So as everyone knows, the strongest card in Bolton is take flight. So we play two blues, we play two yellows, and two reds. Um, the way this card works and why it's so strong with this deck. Is because of Vestige. When you play Take Flight and you charge your soul, Vestige gives you the resource that this costs for, so then you have the resource. Because it's an additional cost, so that means it happens at the exact same time, so when you charge, this triggers straight afterwards. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. You've not been cheating this whole time. But... So yeah, uh, Take Flight, amazing card. Uh, makes it so your opponent just has to take damage against you um, because they can't block. Um, I think the second best card, best card of the deck is uh, V for the Vanguard. Um, the turn that you can go off with V for the Vanguard is... And Arknight Skullcap is our helmet. Why did I forget that one? You, you said that one already. <laughs> yeah, V for the Vanguard. Second best card of the deck. Um, charge your soul. Uh, you, you, you go again at you, you, everything. This, this, this card's so strong. Two, Red Illuminate. Um, I found Red Illuminate being one of those really annoying cards that like people just can't block against correctly. Because they have to like block with an equipment or they have to block with the card from hand as well. Um, and it just goes free into your soul. So illuminates like one of the greater cards. Um, and Bolting Blade. Bolting Blade mainly only in here because of uh, uh, Prism is a thing. But like we wipe the floor with Prism with, with this deck. I've been wiping it all fucking weekend with it. 
you can get, make this cost for free, um, but it's very good because of, um, you can, like worst case scenario, it costs two, um, and you're usually getting that for free because you, you're pitching your blue, you're pitching your yellow, you go V for the Vanguard or take flight, and then, yeah, you know, it's, it's a card. Um, uh, Luminar Ascension, not the greatest card of the deck, but the turn you can go off with Axes, it's insane. Um, it, it's a card that does suck most of the time, but if you can get that turn where it's like swing, 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 swing weapons, it's insane. Two soul food, you only play it if you go first. Um, other than that, it's just pitching fodder or blocking fodder. Uh, two spill blood. Um, I don't think I need to explain why this card's so good, but Dominate gives you weapons, the thing, so you can gain go again. Still, gives you weapons, the, the plus that you need, so you can gain go again. Very good, in red. Um, and then I elected for a few blue cards. Um, I like Hit and Run, because if you need the go again, you have it. Um, and it, it, you can give the plus one, but you don't really care. Um, and then push forward just for the dominate um, These are just blue so most of the time you are just pitching with it um, But other than that you like you can use them. They do have good effects um, Attack reactions uh, Two courage. I don't think I need to explain how good this card is you can put it over anything Like you can put it over it illuminate you can put it over take flight you can put it over anything in your deck um, It's two strike foresight <coughs> um, these could be uh, Alpha Blood, but I personally like filtering my hand a little bit and at least knowing what the top card of my deck is as well. Um, the plus one is very good, but you can usually just get the plus one off uh, Brave Forge Braces. <laughs> yeah, you can just usually get the plus one off Brave Forge Braces. I had some respawn to the Warrior deck. Yeah, you need it. Uh, one Rave Illumination. This card only works if it's in Cold Foil. People don't know that. Um, but this is just for Chain, and I guess Levy is out there as well. Uh, because Chain's one of the top performing decks right now. You just put this card down, gives a plus one, it goes into your soul. Very good. Um, and I exude confidence. This is mainly for against Ninja. Um, you can like play this, and then um, they have to like block it. Block it. And then as soon as they block, you go instant, and then you go like buff it up by to six or whatever. Most of their cards only have like swing for five. So if you buff this to six, then they can't defense reaction. You they can't flick flack. You can gain go again, and then you just keep going. It's it's a very good card, but it's only at one. Um, and then two glint. The glint's a card that could be cut, but I really don't think that people should cut this card. This card is really good. The the go again, the draw because you might draw into an attack as well. Um, uh, like you could draw into a bolting blade or a V for the Vanguard. Um, very good. Um, and then of course the staples, uh, 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 sigil of sigil of solace in red. Go first. Go second. Best card. Um, soul shield. Soul shield is a must with any light deck. Um, and then in my opinion, the other defense reaction, but is a block card, is impenetrable. Belief. Impenetrable belief. Amazing against chain. Most of the cards are going to be swinging for four, like the Nebula Blade. They're going to be ban banishing cards that turn. Um, so you play this, you block for four, and then that's it. Um, yeah, that's the deck. Bye. <laughs>